In this video, I'm going to do something a little different. We're going to talk about the cover drive, but instead of talking about how to perfect your cover drive or how to play the cover drive in a perfect way every single time, which will put pressure on you, I'm just going to show you three simple ways in which you can correct your basic batting technique which will allow you to be more confident when you're playing your cover drive. You can play it more freely and you can play it without worrying about getting out, about hitting the ball in the air or about missing the ball. The more relaxed you are when you bat, the better you can play your shots. So let's get into it. Now the first thing I want you all to practice is what I call the down and up method. It's a very simple thing, but I just call it the down and up method. And you can look at your own technique and see if you are doing this method or not. What it looks like is when the bowler bowls and you decide to play your cover drive, you step to the ball, your head and your front shoulder. So if you're a right hand batsman, your front shoulder is your left shoulder. So your left shoulder and your head, they go down towards the ball your hands and the handle of the bat goes up so that's why it's called the down and up method this allows your bat to have a high back lift and now you just let the bat flow and you play your shot so now i'm gonna practice this down and up method i drop the ball in front of me down up and i play my cover drive okay let's move on to number two the second way to improve your cover drive technique or to improve your basic batting technique is to practice the three fingered grip in your backhand so if you're a right hand batsman your backhand is your right hand if you're a left hand batsman your backhand is your left hand so i'm a right hand batsman so I'm going to take my three fingers, the thumb, the index finger and the middle finger of my back hand, put it on the handle of the bat. And so you can see three fingers are on the back hand. The last two fingers are off the handle. Take my front hand, put it on the bat as well. And now I'm going to practice the same cover drive, but with a slightly new grip. So let's see what that feels like. What this grip is helping me do is to reduce the pressure that my back hand puts and so all my drives will be dominated by my front hand which is what we want to hit the ball along the ground and to not hit the ball in the air because if the back hand dominates the shot the ball is going to go in the air. So I would suggest to try this grip in the nets uh, in, your, in your home practice Maybe not so much in the match. In the match, if you're comfortable going with all five fingers, go with all five fingers. But if you're doing that, squeeze the front hand tighter and reduce that backhand strength on the bat. This will allow you to dominate your shots with your front hand, especially the drives. And so as we keep practicing the strong front hand and the loose backhand technique, and we improve that, we will start to feel more confident when we are playing our drives and our front foot shots. We'll go forward and we'll play it with more confidence because we know that we are not dominating the shot with our backhand, we are dominating it with our front hand. The moment you start feeling more confident, you'll play your cover drive more freely and you'll play it more relaxed, which is what you want to do to really improve that cover drive. So that was number two, a three-fingered grip. I hope the first two ways that I explained made sense and you are now thinking about your own technique and thinking as to whether you are doing the correct way or you are not. Now let's move on to number three. In the third one, I want you all to understand that a cover drive shot is a very side on shot. What I mean by that is when you're playing your cover drive, so when the bowler bowls and you step and you are about to play, you play in a side on position your body is not opening up to the bowler it's staying close to the bowler and it is opening up to the direction that you want to hit which is between point and extra cover to keep your body side on there is a very good way which i'm going to show you now it's called keeping your back foot parallel to the crease 
So what that looks like is I have my crease here, which is a rope and I'm going to now play a few cover drives and I'm going to show you how my back foot is positioned as I'm playing it. So the bowler bowls, I step forward, I'm staying side on and I play the shot, but I keep my back foot parallel to the crease. My toe is pointing in the same direction as the crease. This is the correct technique to play your cover drive because it keeps you side on. With this way, you'll play the ball very late and the ball will go into the ground as opposed to going up in the air. You'll also miss the ball less and you'll also edge the ball less. So we go back to a very safe way of playing the cover drive. The mistake would be if you play your cover drive and your back foot comes onto the toe this means that your hip is squaring up and most likely you're going to hit the ball up because you might reach out and so this can also lead to other issues like you might edge the ball a lot especially if the ball is swinging so let's practice this again and I want you all to even stand up and even uh, play a shadow cover drive and see how your back foot's moving so let's try that with the ball I'm going to drop the ball in front, step, play my cover drive, make sure that that back foot is parallel to the crease, which is pulling my body back. It's not allowing me to go too forward where I might hit the ball up. And so now I know that if I practice these three things, number one, number two, number three, in the nets or in my home practice, and I won't be worried that I might hit the ball in the air. And so I can play it with a lot of confidence. If this is something that you need, confidence, in your cover drive, then I would highly suggest to practice these three things. Bring it into your technique. So you change your technique a little bit using these three things. And then you'll have a lot more confidence when you're playing your cover drive. I hope you enjoyed this video, but before you go, write down in the comments if there's any other shot that you want me to make a video on or you want me to help you with and I'll try and make a video on it or I will help you. And again, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.